And now, the man your father forgot to warn you about, it's snack time! You have never lived until you have gone wedding dress shopping with my, well, I can't really say she's my favorite, but my Aunt Jane. Now, as we all know, Aunt Jane is an interesting woman. She works at McDonald's. She's got her daughter, Shelly, and her son, Nigger White James, and uh, she's my mom's uh, middle sister, much like Jan. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Anyway, Aunt Jane recently called me up needing a favor. She said, Terry, I need your help. You're the only one who will help me. Everyone else has denied me. I, I, I'm, I'm getting married again. I'm like, again, Aunt Jane? She's like, just quiet and listen, Terry. I'm getting married again, and I need someone with good taste, and I like the way you dress, Terry. I need someone to help me uh, pick out my wedding dress and some bridesmaids' dresses. I said, you really can't wear white, can you? And she's like, shut up. That's a technicality. Anyway, but let's go. So one day, it's okay, you have one day of my time, Aunt Jane. So I, we went out and we hit the Rockville Pike uh, wedding dress circuit with uh, her daughter, my favorite mess of a cousin, Shelly, boy shoe mess. And there we were. We went into the most bargain basement, bum-ass wedding dress, two wedding dresses for a penny of shops I have ever Steps foot in like the wedding dress emporium and wedding dresses are us. You would not believe some of the wedding dress places we went at. So we got there and it's so funny because Aunt Jane decides that she's going to take over the store. It doesn't matter how many customers are there. It doesn't matter how busy the sales lady is. Aunt Jane's going to take over and it is so fun to watch her. And it's, the problem started really that day. The drama, the angst, the, 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 the very, the very headache that Calgon could never wipe away from me that day started with Cousin Shelly. She decided and got in her head, Mom, I want to have a tank top bridesmaid's dress. Can we please have a tank top bridesmaid's dress? And can it be like lacy, kind of like Madonna in the 80s? It would be, oh, Madonna would be so cool. And we could all wear like long cross necklaces. Please, Mom, please. And Aunt Jane was like, why not? And I was like, no, no. I will not attach my name to this wedding and to the picking and choosing of the bridesmaid's dresses if you're going for early Madonna. And you will not show bare midriff. And for one thing, Shelly, I think you need to be honest with yourself and look in the mirror. Yours is not the tubby, the tummy to show off, okay? It's time to get your abs a seal book and, and zip it up real good. Mom, Terry's being mean. I want a bare midriff. I'm like, guys. Leave it to me. You're not getting a bare midriff tank top bridesmaid's dress. And there will be nothing purple. There will be no Barney family members today. And here, here's where it got worse. We finally picked out some, some things that would work for the wedding. And Aunt Jane decided that she would not make up her mind until she went to McDonald's where she worked across the street and uh, had her manager and her friends at work, you know, give it the thumbs up. And so the woman at the shop, she was very like a Mrs. Slocum, for those of you who ever watched British comedy television. BBC One, BBC Two, BBC, BBC. Anyway, so she was like, yes, like pink hair. Can I help you? And Aunt Jane was like, all right, I want to get this, but I want to wear it across the street and show my friends at McDonald's. And the woman's like, oh, absolutely not. And you can't blame her. Who's going to let you take a wedding dress out of the shop? And then Jim's like, well, if I was buying a car, they'd let me take it on a test drive. And the woman's like, well, this is not an automobile. This is a wedding dress. And you will not be able to take it off the premises. And especially if you're planning on staining it with a double cheeseburger or, or a roast beef sandwich. And then Jane was like, that's Roy Rogers. And the woman's like, whatever. You're not doing it. And then Jane's like, then I'm not I'm buying it. And the woman's like, fine. We don't need your patronage if you're going to try to take a beautiful gown to fast food establishments. And Aunt Jane was like, I am married to a senator. And the woman took one look at Aunt Jane with her purple sweatpants and her green Jesus Saves t-shirt. And she knew that that was a lie. And she said, I'll believe that when I see it, madam. And Aunt Jane was Fuming! She said, I am going to count to ten, and you are going to let me wear the dress out of here to McDonald's! Ten, nine, eight, and the woman's like, no, six, five, uh, uh, three, uh, 